This is WGHP TV 8, High Point, Greensboro, Winston-Salem. And now, TV 8 Eyewitness News with the team you know and trust. Good evening. Word from Richmond late today that the 4th U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals has overturned... From the Triad and across North Carolina, this is TV8 Eyewitness News. Good afternoon. I'm Cynthia Smoot. At this hour, Judge Doug Douglas Albright is charging the jury. This is WGH Piedmont 8. And now, the Piedmont's favorite news team, Fred Blackman, Cynthia Smoot, Frank Deal with the area's most accurate forecast, and Rich Brenner on Big Board Sports. This is WGH Piedmont Evening News. This is WGH Piedmont 8. And now, with what's happening tonight, Cynthia Smoot, Neil McNeil, Frank Deal with the area's most accurate forecast, and Rich Brenner with Big Board Sports. This is WGH Piedmont Tonight. You're watching the Piedmont News Channel at 5.30 with Fred Blackman and Carol Andrews. Good afternoon on the toll from Wednesday's plane crash at Pope Air Force Base. You're watching the Emmy Award-winning Piedmont News Channel. Cynthia Smoot, Fred Blackman, Frank Deal with weather, and Rich Brenner with sports. This is the Piedmont News Channel at 6 o'clock. Good evening. The flotilla of U.S. ships off the coast of Haiti continues to grow. You're watching the Piedmont News Channel. A suspected shoplifter takes more than merchandise. He abducts an elderly woman in High Point. I'm Lisa Blagan in Coolamie, where a town is pulling together, trying to salvage what they can after a fire destroyed part of the elementary school. And you have what it takes to do this? Put on your suit for Baywatch Audition. Now, tonight's top stories and your weather and sports. This is the 10 o'clock news. A suspected shoplifter abducted an elderly woman in High Point late this afternoon. Good evening, I'm Kent Bates. And I'm Kim Gennardo. A cross covered with flowers marks the scene where two high school sophomores lost their lives. A man makes a stop along this rural Yadkin County Road and finds something in these weeds that will probably give him nightmares tonight. It may not look like much right now, but one of the majors in the industry says this is the future of filmmaking. If you're in the habit of giving your mail a quick glance over before putting it in file 13, you could be missing some very important information. Don't miss tonight's Fox 8 on your side report. Live from the Piedmont News Channel, this is the 10 o'clock news. Tomorrow, the first class of the School of the Filmmaking at the North Carolina School of the Arts. Live from the Piedmont News Channel, this is the Fox 8 6 o'clock news. Greensboro officials are worried there'll soon come a time that getting water out of this reservoir will be as hard as finding a hotel room when the... Whether it's a headache, a cold, or the flu, most people feel safe taking over-the-counter medication. But an undercover investigation by Fox 8 on your side found something shocking on store shelves. It's supposed to be the scariest night of the year, but Halloween has become big fun for a lot of folks and a big profit for others. I'm Rashada Tramble at the Terror Show in High Point. Coming up on what's happening, we're going to take you inside, and I've got one thing to say. Ah! And we've...
leave uncovered more lost money. Find out if there's any out there for you. Live from the Piedmont News Channel, this is the Fox 8 10 o'clock news. Good evening, everybody. We have break. Thinking about quitting smoking, drinking, or bad eating? The clock is ticking. Behind these walls, plenty of images that may provide you with powerful motivation. But first on Fox. This morning he said if he could not have his kids, he was going to kill everybody. So authorities say he hatched a plan with two buddies. I'm innocent. Now all three are facing kidnapping charges tonight. Live from the Piedmont News Channel, this is the Fox 8 10 o'clock news. Freedom provides a mother and her daughter with a happy ending to a harrowing day. This is the Fox 8 Morning News at 6. You're watching the news leader, Fox 8. This is the Fox 8 Morning News. You no know, hurricane season isn't too far away, so... Live from the Piedmont News Channel, this is the Fox 8 6 o'clock news. And it's only the 6th of July. The sights and sounds of what was Tropical Storm Cindy came ashore on the Gulf Coast this morning. It is a story that is still unfolding in Greensboro. A Highway Patrol helicopter is helping Greensboro police search for a man who shot one of their own. Ahead on the Piedmont News Station, a major goal reached. It means the city of Greensboro is one step closer to getting a performing arts center. A federal judge sentenced Jorge Cornell, the leader of the Latin Kings, to 28 years in federal prison today. I'm Mitch Carr in Winston-Salem, and we'll have a reaction from his supporters. I'm Prince Campbell in Winston-Salem. School hasn't even started yet, and already teachers from across the state are getting together. They're mad. Well, a huge step for the proposed Greensboro Performing Arts Center in downtown. A fundraising committee says it's shattered its $20 million goal and... It's a big event for the kids, so we you know, just splurge a little bit on that. Fair fees on this, the opening night of the Dixie Classic Fair. We figure out what the average family will spend. Can your tight budget afford the rides, the food, and the fun? Making up for the money mistake, unemployed people who were told they were overpaid benefits should like this news. What Governor Bev Perdue says about paying the money back. A color season brings a lot of tourists in, a lot of visitors. Fall foliage. No need to travel to Maine or Vermont to see the beautiful colors of the leaves. TripAdvisor rates the best, and it's somewhere right here in North Carolina. Good evening and thank you for being with us. What an amazing night for rides and bright lights. The Dixie Classic Fair. She was covered in gasoline and then set on fire. Police say this happened during some sort of domestic violence situation and it nearly cost her her life. Unnecessary exposure reaction to what allowed many more people to come in contact with the man with Ebola. So many of you look forward to the Dixie Classic Fair and on Friday, the gates open. But before the gates open, all the attractions inside must pass the test. How state and county inspectors are making sure your visit to the Dixie Classic is all fun and games. But it also looks like a cold front's going to arrive just in time for the first day of the fair. What does this front mean for your weekend?
Thomas Eric Duncan. That name is causing a lot of concern and raising all sorts of questions across the country tonight. Good evening and thanks so much for being with us. An overcast day in the Piedmont. You can see the clouds covering Greensboro. Temperatures will rise tomorrow as rain moves into the area. Good evening. Thanks for staying up with us. I'm Danny Harden. And I'm Jasmine Spencer. You're watching the Fox 8 10 o'clock news with Neil McNeil, Katie Nordine, and Max Weather Chief Meteorologist Van Denton. Too many dogs and cats. Not enough people willing to adopt or own them. <laughs> Good morning to you. I'm Cindy Farmer. And I'm Tracy Clemens. Hope your day is off to a great start so far. Right now at noon, a suspect is in custody after a long and drawn out gun battle with police. Witnesses said it looked like bullets raining down on officers. I think it's just the uh, the grace of the good Lord that it, a vehicle didn't get struck by the plane. Scary moments on a road many of you drive every single day. Good evening. Welcome to the Fox 8 6 o'clock news. I'm Neil McNeil. And I'm Allison Smith. Some parts of our coverage area seeing pop-up showers, but it's a clear night for the most part as we look live over downtown Greensboro ahead of a very hot weekend. Good evening and welcome to the Fox 8 10 o'clock news. Pop-up showers across certain parts of the Piedmont tonight. Some of you may have seen the rain. It poured in Forsyth County earlier this evening, but for the most part, it's been a pretty clear night. Good evening and thank you for joining us for the Fox 8 News at 11. I'm Michael Hennessy. So what about the weekend? Gunpowder. I heard the shooting more than 100 rounds before all the police was present. 